Next, we're gonna catch up with a dear friend of mine, Ty McClendon. This brother designed some of the most original hats around. Each one is like a work of art. This year, uh, 2004, doing a lot of color. Uh, in the past, I have worked with color, but this time we really done a lot of different shades of red and pink and peach, and the metallics are back again, but a lot of color is what we're dealing with. My thing is, I think hats are, are an extension to one's personality. You know, people, I meet people all the time, they say, you know what, I can't wear a hat. No, it's just like clothes, it's like shoes, it's like any, uh, accessory that you're going to put on your body, you have to find the right hat to complement not only your pocketbook money-wise, right. but the color and what you're trying to wear with, uh, shape of your face, and something that adds some personality. I always say the hats is just an extension of one's personality. Well, they're so beautiful, yet so elaborate. I mean, who wears hats like this? Oh, you'd be surprised, but my main customer is the church lady. That's the Church of God in Christ. Baptist, uh, Pentecostal, uh, uh, A and M, they wear hats. Cause hats is just not an accessory for her outfit. It's a way of life. Because uh, most of them, all they do is go to church. They dress up. They work to look good at church. They want to be unique, and uh, that's my number one customer is the church lady. I do a lot of the trimming right here. You have to sew the straw. The straw comes about like the width of a shoestring. You have to sew it, and then you have to block it, and then you have to trim it. Before I got into these hats, I used to be an art teacher, uh, and the hats are like uh, really a wearable art. It's like a three-dimensional piece of sculpture. I started off, uh, as I said earlier, teaching school, and then a weekend with my mom, kind of helping her out, turn into a full-time job of making hats. Yeah. So this comes from Mama then. Yes, this is. Uh, you know, my mom, when we were kids, would even think I would be standing here talking about some hats because we used to make uh, fun of her and uh, call, we used to call her the Mad Hatter. Now here I am, a grown man, making hats myself. So, you know, you never know what directions life have. So, uh, but it was a good move, yeah. We're getting ready for the magic show. Hi guys, welcome to exciting Las Vegas, Nevada. Today we're here at the world famous Magic International Apparel Show. The organization was founded in 1933 as an association of the Los Angeles area menswear manufacturers. And in 1979, they decided to open their doors to manufacturers around the world. But the show became so huge, they had to move it to Las Vegas. Tom's been exhibiting at this show for about five years, so let's go check out his booth and see how well he's doing. People from big stores like Macy's all the way down to mom and pop boutiques come here. They, uh, this particular uh, show is a lot of unique things, so uh, people are looking for things that are really, really different. And you know, they're trying to get as much as they can for their money, so they're looking for very unique things, and I kind of carried that over into the hats, you know. I've been really, really excited to try on some of these hats, so uh, may I? Yes, you may. Okay, let's get going. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I mean, your line is absolutely you. beautiful. Thank and you. I really wish you all the success in the Thank world. You. And uh, keep making these bad, cold-blooded hats, my brother. <laughs> Thank you very much. Enjoy the show. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks. 